I'm Kristen Mitchell. I'm an Ogden-based artist. Primarily for my own work, do landscape drawing, but for my social practice work, I do collaborative, creative projects that bring multiple community members together and institutional partners to create a piece of artwork that is both made by community members for a, a broader community. This project is a part of a group of works that were funded by the Nine Rails Creative District grant process and their goal is to create positive community impact through multiple collaborative creative processes. The project that we're putting out is called Living Marks and we select a community movement leader, someone who uh, leads movement, either dance or yoga or even martial arts, and then um, a group of people to do those movements. And then we bring artists in to respond to those movements. And we select a core concept to focus the movement around. So for this uh, project, we chose the concept of duality. Duality in itself has its own texture, where two different things meet and we wanted to explore that through multiple disciplines, through the discipline of music. So Zach comes in with a specific flute that actually has the largest range of tones of any instrument, the highest highs and the lowest lows. And he responds to Anya's movement sequences intuitively with this instrument. And the yogis are doing expansive poses while they're hugging in to create strength and expansion. And the artists then are both hearing this discussion of energetically what's going into the poses while they're watching the poses happen and hearing the music response to that. And then in a dialogue, about halfway through, we break and the artists talk to the yogis and understand what their experience has been like. And the yogis and the musician get to look at what the artist created. And that is a beautiful moment because there's more than just your own contribution there because of the dialogue and the collaboration, it gets better. The photographer's connection with the yogi's connection, with the artist's connection, with the other yogi, and the library's connection to the city creates the stronger community fabric when you've come together, especially if you're doing something a little odd or unique like this. And so it's a very nice way to create ties to other people. The works that come from this workshop are shared with the public via a website, uh, via an exhibition at Kappa Cafe. The individual artists will display works. And we will also create uh, a separate body of work that comes from the whole experience. Five pieces that will be shown at the Weber County Library on Jefferson that will uh, kind of tie the whole thing together and create something to contribute to the rest of the public so they can participate and understand what, what did we find in this? What did we come up with? This project anchors itself in the idea that together we're very powerful and with art it's the same way. 